today I wanna share with you how I grew my shoulders fast. My shoulders were always a weakness of mine and they still are. I always blame my genetics but it's not. Big shoulders are essential to give you that masculine superhero movie character why. I mean look at all these bodybuilders. Big shoulders make a huge difference. Now shoulders are split up into the front, side and rear delts. Before we dive into these exercises, let's do some warm up exercises at first. I start off warming up my rotator cuffs with resistant bands. I don't have them here but this resistant thingy here does the job. Make sure you do internal and external rotations. I'll usually go for two sets to failure. After that I'll do two additional sets of this exercise here and do some push-ups in order to warm up my shoulders and joints. I used to get a lot of shoulder pain but since I've been doing these warm-up exercises the pain has actually gone. Comment down below what your most favorite shoulders exercise is. And let's start off with the muscle group which I neglected the most, namely the rear delts. It took me quite some time until I've realized the importance of those rear delts on my shoulder lift. Face pulls I've been doing as kind of a warm up exercise on all of my pole days. Use only two fingers and feel those rear delts. Just two sets to failure. Other great exercises are dumbbell rear delt fly, cable rear delt fly where I recommend the seated version so you don't use momentum which happened a lot when I was standing but also simply the rear delt machine. Just make sure you press your trap stand so you actually feel the rear delts and not your traps. So we covered the rear delts in this video so far and I will give you my current workout split or training at the end of this video. But for now let's move on to the front delt. The shoulder part which gets trained the most because it gets activated in most of the push movements already. For the front delts I train heavy compound lifts like the military press, seated smith machine military press, arnold press, even though it gets a lot of hate. But my most favorite and classic exercise is the seated dumbbell press. Make sure you don't have the seat fully upright with your elbows flaring straight. Keep it on a slight incline because that really helped me to progressively overload with the weights and putting less stress on my joints. I was surprised how far my shoulders are out on that exercise. Comment down below what you think about my form. I'll definitely need to work on my movement quality there. On all these exercises I'll do 3 to 4 sets between 8 to 12 reps. But that's it for my front delts. If you really want to make them pop do some cable front races but I keep it at the heavy compound lift which train both the front and side delts. Talking about side delts, in my opinion the most important shoulder part to train when it comes to big broad shoulders. There are different variations but I'll give you the exercises which help me the most. Classic dumbbell lateral races. Have a slight bend when you're doing this exercise and try to squeeze your pinky finger. That helped me a lot to feel my side delts even more. If you want to eliminate momentum use the bench and apply the same principles. Now the biggest gains I could gain was with cable ladder raises. For a long time I was doing them in a standing position but lately I've been doing them in a lying position. I've never felt my side delts as much as with that exercise. Mind muscle connection is the most important thing on these movements. You don't have to go heavy in order to progress. Add an additional set or do drop sets because increasing the weights on ladder raises is quite difficult. Another accessory I add into my workouts are cable upright rows which also activates a lot of my side delts. But that's all I did in order to grow my shoulders. At the beginning and during COVID times I did a lot of pike push-up variations and worked with resistant bands. If you're interested in a video which focuses more on body weight movements, comment down below and I'll make a dedicated one. My current push split looks like that at the moment. The first split of the week is strength focused while the second workout on hypertrophy. In general I change up the exercises every 4 weeks and follow a 12 week program. Before that push split I had a dedicated shoulders day which would look like that. It took extra energy and effort to create this video. I've been sick the last couple of days and weeks but I made a promise to myself that I would release at least one video every single week. So if you enjoyed this one smash that like button and make sure you watch this video next where I document my journey of taking creatine for 60 days.